What's going on, guys? This is really overdue. I should have done this on Wednesday, but I forgot. Um, but yeah. So we're doing one of these again. This is week three picks. Um, this is the Thursday game. Um, this is Saturday today, and this is the day it's going up. And the Giants already won, but I picked the Redskins to win. That's a bad choice. I honestly thought the Giants were going to let it slip, but they didn't. Good job, Giants. I'm um, putting out one and two, meaning these two are tied for second place, and the Eagles in third. Uh, for this one, um, I can guess y'all already know who I'm going to pick. Um, if you don't, well, you haven't watched the other videos, but I'm going to go with my Cowboys. Mm, both teams are 2-0, and uh, even with our two outs. Uh, and Dez and Tony Romo. I believe we can still do it uh, as long as they get Joseph Randall the ball enough and uh, mix up running and passing kind of not what they were doing. I guess the Eagles. <laughs> no, my Eagles are in the background. I should probably say this. Um, we have all the music from the 16 thing. But I don't know if uh, it's copyrighted or not, so I'm going to be safe. But for this, I don't even remember who I picked. Like, we did, we have a like, pick journal. And I'm going to go grab it real quick uh, after this one. So I can remember who I picked. And actually, I'm going to go wrap, run and grab it real quick. I know it's really unprofessional. <laughs> I'm back. That was very unprofessional. I was not prepared for this part. And it would be easier because... Alright. So for this one, so I just want to be honest with y'all guys and who I pick and all that. This, that stuff. Um, I picked Cincy for this game. Um, actually, I do remember picking Cincy because I believe Baltimore started 0-2. Yeah. Uh, you know, losing to the Raiders, and then on top of that, I mean, I, I trust Andy Dalton, kind of. Um, I don't want to bring up playoff appearances or anything because we're nowhere near that yet. So, I have Andy Dalton and the Bengals win it. <laughs> This one we have a NFC South Division matchup, and uh, we have the Saints at Carolina. I picked Carolina for this one, and mostly because you got Luke McCown starting for the Saints. Uh, you don't, and I mean, you really can't judge him. I've, I've actually never seen him play, so I can't really say much. But. Um, you know, with these 2-0 and Panthers uh, that heated up in the second half, both games, um, I mean, granted, they weren't playing the best of teams. I don't even remember who they, were, who they played the first two games. I know they played Houston last week, um, but and they played Jacksonville. So, yeah, like, not the best of teams. Um, but, I mean, you're still talking... Sorry. The Saints aren't the best of teams either. I say the Carolina Panthers start out 3-0. So, you have... This is the opposite, so I'm going to go ahead and switch this real quick because I want you to know home and away. I probably already skipped the Raiders like twice. I mean, I can go this way too. Sorry, I'm bad at this. So this is very last minute. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so we have Oakland at Cleveland. Um... I picked Oakland for this one because for the fact that Jack McCown's starting again. Um, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of Manziel. I'm not a fan of him at all. I actually hate him. Um, but with Luke McCown back, I don't think that he'll be able to lead them to their, to their win. I think they'll go one and two. And uh, Derek Carr was kind of on fire 
against uh, Baltimore, so I, I'll say that one. So I the Texans on the random team <laughs> and the Bucks, so we're not gonna do that again. Um, but this one, I picked Tampa, honestly, just because Houston's been starting up bad. Uh, I think Jameis Winston just needed a little bit, so I see him. <clears throat> I see him doing something big against Houston, and uh, we'll just we'll see how that goes. Then we have the Vikings and San Diego, and I'm gonna just be honest. I picked the Vikings because Teddy Bridgewater kind of showed up last week, so if he can do the same thing two weeks in a row and help my fantasy team, uh, I actually have him on the bench. So yeah, Vikings it is. But I don't like the Chargers. You're stupid if you pick Jacksonville for this one. I got the Jets winning this one. Because, uh... I mean, I'm a Cowboys fan, so I'm not going to go with the Eagles most of the time. So, and I mean, just awful. I mean, just flat out awful. Terrible team. The Eagles are right now. Unless they get something to fix it. And so they won't be stupid. Uh... You know, sit Bradford down, uh, play Mark Sanchez, give Murray the ball more, uh, get out of that stupid shotgun position that we kept playing last week. Um, I don't think they'll win if they keep doing that, and as soon as they stop doing that, I feel like because they have a dominant offense, and as a Cowboys fan, that's scary to say. Uh, but I got the Jets winning this until they change it. Uh, last, last week, I, uh, I picked against the, the Steelers. That was a bad idea because they ran all over San Fran. Hold on. And, um, that was a terrible idea. So, this week I picked against them again because <laughs> I like to live risky. And I like Nick Foles. The Niners suck. I mean, like, they just suck. And the Cardinals, Carson Palmer is just amazing. And uh, Fitzgerald's amazing. And that one guy that kept stealing Fitzgerald's thunder, and I can't remember his name. And Fitzgerald actually said that, but he looked, said he wasn't mad about it. So, I got the card that's winning this one. Buffalo Bills and Miami Dolphins. I picked Buffalo. Um, yeah, I mean, like, like, what else do you want? Buffalo's been good. <laughs> I mean, they both put together that comeback against uh, New England, and honestly, I mean, like, even Rex Ryan was, you know, he was shaking, not shaking up, he was just like, you know, Belichick outcoached him, and, you know, and I see them doing a lot. I see them as a playoff contender this year. Um, oh, oh, yeah, I see. Uh, in the Seahawks and the Bears, I believe the Bears are going to check. And these are going to be a lot more thought out this this week. Yeah, they are 0 and 2. They're both 0 and 2, but with Cam Chancellor coming back after holding out for two weeks, uh, just like predicted, he would come back after going 0 and 2 um, by Michael Strahan and Terry Bradshaw and everyone else that took up there with them because I forget all their names because I'm terrible with names. Um, and just like they said <clears throat> will happen, is happening, I'm going to go with the Seattle Seahawks because the Bears suck. I don't know if you heard me. So, we have Denver and Detroit. Um, I'll say this every week. I'm a Peyton Manning fan, so I'm going to go with Denver. And most of the time, I'm going to be going with Denver. But, uh... I see them beating the Lions only because the Lions are 0-2, um, and Denver has been able uh, was able to put a comeback. Was it Thursday? Thursday, right? What? The that Denver put the comeback together? Uh, sure. Last Thursday? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, I'm leaving. You want to uh, go? No. All right. Let me All right. So it was last Thursday. They put a comeback together. They scored, and I think the dying minutes of the game, I kind of fell asleep during it, so. <clears throat> I don't really know what happened. 
but I, I know they did put the comeback together and won that game. Um, so. All right, and uh, I apologize for that. That was my dad, and if you heard him talking to the dog, he makes a voice for the dog. Yeah. Just don't worry about it. He's he's mentally okay. I just want y'all to know that he's mentally okay. I think. No, I'm just joking. He is. Uh, but for this one, we have KC and Green Bay. Uh, KC sucks. I mean, that sucks. Alex Smith's a really good quarterback, but uh, he really did like let up against the Broncos. Uh, I see them not being able to pull out enough. I just choked on my words. Like literally choked on my words like that without that was uh, me choking on words. So uh, I gotta go with Green Bay here. And, uh, yeah, that's it for the week. I don't really have a reason other than they kind of let it slip last week. So, yeah, you want to have a good Sunday, and, uh, I'm going to go do other stuff now. <laughs>